Loud and Clear. You are listening to Loud and Clear. I'm Brian Becker. We're talking with Ray McGovern, former CIA analyst here in our studio in Washington, D.C., and from New York with Ted Rawl, editorial cartoonist and columnist, about the press conference held yesterday by Donald Trump as he prepares to ascend to the White House and about the unverified reports reported first in CNN and then fully by BuzzFeed and by other media about Donald Trump and where those reports came from. That was a big issue at the press conference. And we are in a tumultuous period, a period of struggle, of strife at the very summits of the U.S. political establishment here in Washington, D.C. Ray McGovern, before we went to break, I was asking you about the motive behind why the allegations are coming that Trump is Vladimir Putin's puppet, that the Russians interfered with uh, the, the election, why they favored Donald Trump, all of those kind of things. But I also want to talk about the way the, the way the CIA and the NSA are responding to the report, the, to the allegations by you and by other people, including our people here at Loud and Clear, that the evidence that they're offering is called overwhelming circumstantial evidence rather than hard facts. And they keep saying back, well, we can't really reveal the entire report because we don't want to compromise our sources and our methods because that will let the enemy, the adversary, know exactly how we are ingeniously deriving and ascertaining this information. So this desire, this stated desire or need, compelling need to to not reveal sources and methods becomes the go-to explanation. Talk about that, because you were a former CIA analyst. I was, and I have some really interesting case studies to adduce here to, to show that this is, well, in the Bronx we would call it a crock. Now, Bill Binney, who used to be technical director for NSA, has said from a technical point of view, since NSA intercepts, and knows the originator and the recipient of each and every email. I know it boggles the mind, but that's what that's what the case is. And that since Ed Snowden gave us slides showing us exactly how NSA accomplishes this with trace mechanisms here and there, that it's virtually impossible that this could have been hacked by Russians and given to Julian Assange without NSA knowing it. Now, interestingly enough, in that sophomoric report, that was put out by James Clapper, the head of national intelligence. The CIA and the FBI are totally confident, supreme, high confidence that the the Russians did all this. And NSA, (laughs) which would have the evidence, since NSA works with signal intelligence and interceptive messages, they only have moderate confidence. Now, in the Army, we used to call that a swag factor. That means it's a scientific while guess, okay? So what are they what are they saying? Well we can't tell you the real evidence because of sources and methods. That's a canard. Let me give you an example. In nineteen eighty six there was a discotheque in Berlin, La Belle Disco, that was blown up. We know it was blown up by Libyan terrorists. Okay, how do we know? We had an intercepted message. It was conclusive. We knew, okay? One of those rare occasions where we knew, and so Ronald Reagan sent sent our aircraft from London and bombed the hell out of Gaddafi's palace, killing one of his daughters, okay? Now, there was an outrage in the world. I said, well, how do you know it was, how do you know the, the Libyans? I think this is just vindictive. I don't know. And so Reagan came to us, and he says, all right, let me see that message. So... We showed him the message. It said, success, we made it at 2 o'clock. It went off, okay? So he says, good, we have to give this to the press. And, of course, we said, no, 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 Mr. President, please, you don't understand. We, the Libyans don't know we're intercepting a message. And, and this is encrypted. They don't, even, they don't know we're in, that we can decode the – no, no, you can't do that. We'll lose our source. And the president said, did you hear what I said? We gave it to the press. The Fuhrer died down. And the president of the United States came out smelling like a rose. Now, what I'm saying here is that there are more important things from a national foreign policy point of view than protecting this or that source, no matter how sexy it might be. My guess is that we had other ways of finding out what the Libyans were doing. In this case, there's absolutely no reason to disguise these things. Why? 
Because John McCain and the others are saying it's an act of war, for God's sake. Okay, if it's an act of war, show us the beef. Show us the evidence. Disclose a source if you have one. I'm 80% sure that there is no unimpeachable source. I'm a little troubled that NSA now has had time to manufacture such sources, as was done to justify, in quotes, the invasion of Iraq.